So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install Kodi 17.3 on your Amazon Fire Stick, which will allow you to watch free movies, TV shows, and even sports. And if you're not familiar with Kodi and what it actually does, then I encourage you to go watch my ultimate beginner's guide to Kodi. I'll put a link down in the description. But if you are familiar with Kodi, then this is the video to watch. So recently, Kodi released a new update, 17.3. Now this fixed a lot of security issues that was in the previous versions. So if you haven't done it already, you should definitely upgrade to this newest version of Kodi, which will prevent your device from being hacked. So the installation process of Kodi onto the Fire Stick is pretty much the same as all the previous versions. But in this video, I'm still gonna give you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that, as well as how to install some additional add-ons. So here's the home screen of my Fire Stick. And as you might already see, I have Kodi installed. Now, whenever you update to a new version of Kodi, I always highly recommend that you just reset to the factory defaults of your Amazon Fire Stick. This is gonna prevent any issues with possible programs that you download previously. So in order to reset your Amazon Fire Stick to the factory defaults, you wanna move up to the top menus that you see on your screen, go all the way to the right to where it says settings, then go down and move over to the right until you see device. Click on device and move down to where you see reset to factory defaults. Go ahead and click on that. You want to confirm that you do want to reset the device. And basically this is going to change your Amazon Fire Stick back to its original state pretty much from when you bought the Fire Stick. Okay, so I skip forward back to the default home screen of my Amazon Fire Stick, which means I've already set up my Wi-Fi network, I've logged into my Amazon account, and I skipped that intro video. So we're back on the home screen, and the first thing that you wanna do is use your remote and move to the right until you get to settings. Then move down and go all the way over to device. Once you're on this menu, click down, hit developer options and turn both ADB debugging as well as apps from unknown sources, turn both of these on. Perfect, so once you've turned both of these on, go back to the home screen. Next, use your remote and move to the left under search. Now you can either type this in or use the Alexa voice search, but what you wanna search for is downloader. And once you have that typed in, you wanna use your remote, go down until it's highlighted and click on it. And it should bring up this screen. So if you move down, you wanna highlight the downloader app. Select that. Then go ahead and install it. So on my screen it says download uh, because I've already downloaded on a previous version. But if you're new to this, it may say get. Either way, just go ahead and download it. So you're basically downloading an application that will let you download Kodi from the web. So once it is done downloading, go ahead and open Downloader. And you're gonna get this little pop-up menu, just go ahead, select OK. Now on that top line where it says HTTP colon double slash, go ahead and click on that and it's gonna bring up this text prompt. What you wanna type in is kodi.tv slash download. And once you have that typed out exactly as shown, go ahead and select go. And this is gonna connect you to the Kodi website. And if you get this JavaScript prompt, just select OK. So once you're on Kodi.tv slash download, you're gonna see on your screen this little circle cursor. Just go ahead and move it down with your remote and select the Android guy. Click on the Android. And this is gonna bring you to a new page. So just scroll down, as you can see up here, it's the newest version, Kodi version 17.3 Krypton. And the one that you wanna select for your Amazon Fire Stick is this one right here, which is ARMv7A32-bit. 
So just make sure you have that and just go ahead and select that release. And what this is gonna do is download the Kodi software onto your Fire Stick. So just give this a few minutes and let it download and we'll go through the installation process. And once the file is fully downloaded, you should now be on this screen and use your remote, click down and select install. Once you have that highlighted, go ahead and click your remote. And again, this is now installing the software onto your Fire Stick. All right, perfect. So now Cody's fully installed. Again, use your remote, click down, and then you can select open. And this is gonna take you to the first run of Cody version 17.3 Krypton. Perfect, so now we are inside Cody on the Cody's home screen. And as you see, you have some menus on the left. Now what the first thing you wanna do is use your remote, go up to the little gear symbol. This is our settings, go ahead and click on that. Then we wanna go over to system settings. Click on that. And there's a few options that we're gonna to need to change. So the first thing is go down and select add-ons from, from the left-hand side menu and move to the right and where it says unknown sources, you wanna go ahead and select that. So this is gonna allow us to install additional add-ons. Just confirm by selecting yes. Now use your remote and go back and we wanna to go to file manager. From here, you wanna click down to add source. So we're going to input our first source, which will be Exodus. This is gonna allow you to watch free movies and free TV shows. So click on add source. And right now it's currently highlighting the word none. So go ahead, click on that. And this is where you wanna enter in this URL. All right, so that's http colon double slash fusion dot tv add-ons dot ag. And as always guys, make sure you spell this out correctly, otherwise you're gonna have issues. So once you have that typed in, use your remote and select okay. You want to use your remote, click down, and enter in a nickname for this media source. So as always, I'm gonna title it Fusion. Okay, and once you have that typed in, select okay. Then use a remote, move down again, and select OK. So I'm gonna show you how to install the add-ons individually. So we'll stop here with Fusion and just move back, back again until you're on the home screen of Kodi. Next, you wanna use a remote and move down until where it says Add-ons. Click on Add-ons. And if you look on the left-hand menu, you wanna move up until you see that little box icon and click on that. So from here, you wanna use your remote, go down to install from zip file, select that. Then find the nickname that we just entered, which is Fusion, select that. From here, go to Kodi Repos, then English. Then you wanna move down until you see repository.exodus. So I see it right there, it's repository.exodus 1.0.1. Select that and give it a few moments and you should see it being installed on the top right of your screen. So once you see that pop up, move up to install from repository, select it, then select Exodus repository. Go to video add-ons and Exodus. From here, go ahead and just select install And you should see that Exodus starts to download and install onto your Kodi build. Perfect, so now Exodus is installed onto Kodi. So you can use your remote and go back to the home screen of Kodi. So we are now back on the home screen of Kodi and to get to Exodus, you wanna use the left-hand menu, move down until you see add-ons and you should see Exodus right there. So if you click on Exodus, I'll give you a quick preview of what it looks like. From the Exodus menu, you should have a few options here. Uh, the main one that you're gonna use is movies and TV shows. So for example, if we select movies, you have a few different categories that you can select. I always, just for this video, I show the most popular. So I'm gonna select most popular. 
and it's going to bring up a list of the most popular movies being watched on Exodus. So there you go, you have a list of the most popular movies and you can actually change the view um, of this menu if you wanted to by clicking left. You're gonna have, see as you can see right now, the view type is wide list, but if you wanted to say select a wall of thumbnails, you can do that. If you want fan art, uh, just the regular list, posters, there's different views that you could pick from. Uh, I actually personally like the wall view so this is what the wall view will look like. Looks pretty cool. So now I'm gonna show you how to install some additional add-ons. So I'm gonna move back to the Kodi home screen. So next up, I'm gonna show you how to do free live TV. So again, from the home screen of Kodi, move up to the settings, the little gear icon, select that. Then select File Manager, and this is where we're gonna enter in a new source. We're gonna select Add Source, then move up to where it says None, highlight that and select it, and enter in this URL. Okay, and once you have this typed out exactly as shown, then go ahead and select OK. Go down so we could nickname this media source. I'm gonna title it Goodfellas. Then select OK and OK. All right, so go back to the home screen. And from here, move back down to add-ons, select it. Then move up to the little box icon and select that. Again, we wanna select install from zip file. This time we're going to select Goodfellas, Goodfellas repository, and wait for it to install onto your Kodi. And again, as you see on the top right hand corner, it says installed. So from here, we go back up to install from repository, select Goodfellas, go ahead and select video add-ons, and the one that we want is Goodfellas 2.0. So select that and install. So as you can see now, Goodfellas 2.0 is installed. So let's go back to the home screen. And to get to that application, again, just move down to add-ons and you should see Goodfellas 2.0. So again, I'm gonna show you a quick preview of this. I'm gonna go ahead and select Goodfellas. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different categories that you can select from. So for most people who wanna watch live TV, you would select free TV channels. Select that. Then you wanna select the US, UK, Canadian channels. Then you can select which location you're from. So I'm in the US, so I'm gonna select USA channels. And here it is, all the USA live channels. Now these are pretty good. Uh, sometimes you will get some hiccups, but for the most part, I found that Goodfellas is probably the best live TV add-on. So let's go back to the home screen. I'll show you one more add-on. So next add-on I'm gonna show you is Sports Devil, and this is probably the most popular live sports add-on available on Kodi. And the installation is gonna be really easy because it's already contained in that fusion source that we entered in earlier when installing Exodus. So in this case, since we already have that source entered in, what we wanna do is just go straight down to add-ons, select that, then move up to that box icon, and from here, go ahead and install from zip file. We wanna choose Fusion, which again, we've already entered this in earlier. So select Fusion, go to Kodi Repos, English. And what we're looking for in this list is the repository for the unofficial sports devil.
All right, cool. So as you can see right here is repository.unofficial sports devil 1.0. Once you find that, select OK and wait for it to install. Again, you'll see it on the upper right hand corner. And once that is installed, move up and select install from repository. This time, this time we want to go down to unofficial sports devil repository, select that, select video add-ons and sports devil. So go ahead and let this install and download onto your Kodi. And once it's installed, we can go back to the home screen and I'll show you how to use the program. So this is what the home screen will look like. You want to move down to add-ons and on the right hand side, you should see sports devil. Then you should just see some different categories that you could choose from uh, within sports devil. So you guys could play around with this and see if there's any channels that you like watching, but that's pretty much it. So before I close out this video, I want to show you how you can get back into Kodi from the home page of your Fire Stick. So as you can see right now, you don't see Kodi anywhere on the menu list. What we want to do is go down to where you see your apps and games, move all the way to the right until you see see all. You want to go ahead and select that. And from here, you're going to see basically all the different applications that you can choose from. So we want to find Kodi. Uh, just use your remote and go down until you see the Kodi icon. So from here, you want to click your options menu and that's the, the button with the three lines. So click on that. And on the bottom right of your screen, you will have a few different options that you can select. Uh, you want to choose move to the front. So go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it moves Kodi all the way to the front of your apps. Now, if we go back to the Amazon home screen, you will see that Kodi is now available right there. So anytime you wanna go back into Kodi, it's just gonna be in the front of your list. It's gonna be very convenient for you. So that about covers all of it. If you followed all the instructions in this video, you should now have Kodi 17.3, the newest version, on your Amazon Fire Stick. If there's any additional add-ons that you wanna see or you just want some more information, leave a comment down below and I'll try to make a video for it. But that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.